Ladies and gentlemen, hey fish heads, what's going on? This is the first of the week look at your workshop update. I'm Jen Carvasi here at Jekyll Bates. We're at the finishing desk as usual. And uh, this is this was recorded on Monday. You guys may or may not see it tonight if I can get it uploaded, but potentially you'll see it Tuesday, maybe Monday night. I don't know. Or whenever you guys get around to being able to watch it. So we're going to get right into it. I've got one 18-piece order, and then I have this little guy. This is an Ozark Goblin Wart. We'll show you the belly. Just that blue, fluorescent green, and tangerine. And this is sort of a reverse pattern. really like doing these reverse patterns. And when I say reverse, usually, I'll show you this as an example. I have my shading going towards the back or the tail of the lure. And on reverse patterns, I flip it around on the top. But that is that. Very cool pattern. And uh, it will be available this week. Built this over the weekend. I'll just set these off to the side as we go. And we're going to get right into this. This is a custom order for somebody that uh, normally fishes a lot of heavy walleye. This is uh, an upstate New York order. So they usually give me very specific requests on colors. And for this color, it was not necessarily a tone or a shade, but the request was that it was a mid-tone mid blue, not dark, not light. So what I ended up doing with this one is uh, giving him a fluorescent blue with a chartreuse, bright, bright, bright chartreuse belly segments. And uh, I really like the way that came out. And uh, I know he's going to be smacking some small mouth and some walleye with this. And just about, I think, every order he's had, except for maybe a couple two years ago, they've all been jerk baits. This guy is a jerk bait fanatic and uh, very, very effective with jerk baits as well. And this is on that Dinger 120 SP. And uh, he always asks for different eyes, the coloring. And these come with very specific uh, pre color because of how they fit into this mold. So pretty much what I've done is I've preset the eyes in before I sprayed the bait and then after sprayed with the, uh, with the insert 3D eyes in there. And he's asked for some different colors like some reds and on this one black eyes. So I just sprayed with the eye on there. And you guys can do that. It's not that hard. Just use super glue. Uh, it doesn't have to be that particular brand, but it does need to be super glued in because it really, especially when you're dealing with wet paint on these eyes, you want to make sure that stay in put, plus you're putting air pressure into that as well. So if they're not in and they're not stable and they're not glued in there, they could blow out with the pressure of the air gun, even if it's a low pressure, even if you're doing like 5 to 10 PSI. So this is the perch pattern, and I think what we're going to do, this is the, uh, the flow, we're going to call that fluorescent craw. We're going to set these off to the side as we go through these. And this is the perch pattern. We asked for three of each on this 18 piece. So this is that. And again, um, I've been telling you guys that I'm using a lot more of the detail, the Wicked Detail paints, and not black. I use black when I want to be very contrasted. Like this is a, this is actually a detailed smoke black. It's not even a full black. Um, but uh, Wicked makes a detailed smoke black, and this is that. And I, I really like the way the shading ends up on these. So just to let you know. Um, if you hit my Jekyll Bates Facebook page, you can also see that there are, uh, there's an entire, I think it's like 22 or 26, the entire Wicked detail set, which is pretty much translucent. Um, sprays extremely well, really don't need a whole lot of reduction on it, if, if any. Uh, right out of the bottle. So that's available through my page. And we've got, this is a pattern that he's ordered quite a bit. And I started spraying this specifically for him. Um, one day he's like, I want something a little bit different. I like the blue and chartreuse, but I don't really just want the belly on it. I want you to kind of move the chartreuse through the bait. So what we did was we just laced, covered it, and sprayed that blue so it looks like a really cool chartreuse veining on that. And we put some hot pink eyes on there for him. Again, these are all toothy critter baits. And uh, I've seen a lot of catches from this particular pattern with the walleye on that. 
I'll set that one off to the side as well. And yeah, you guys can see what's coming on this. I've been uh, I've been doing some watercolors and acrylic canvas stuff. This is this was a request uh, to get filled, but I will also the the, re the original is sold. That's done. Um, but I'm also going to be doing a limited series of prints for 20 bucks, I think, on 8x10s. And I'll show you what the whole thing looks like afterwards. You may have seen it on the Facebook page. If not, you're going to see what it looks like here in a second. It's a striper. This is that Imperial Crawl. And the variation that he asked for on this one was that we put on blood red eyes. It's got just a tiny bit of that blush sunburst orange on the throat. But other than that, it's completely white black. And this is a true black. This is not smoke black, but it's a very fine. I think I did like eight PSI and I allowed a little bit of spray. I kind of want that because I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, like the, I don't want to say comics, but anime where the detailing is actually in the dots and that's what gives you that effect. So that's the look that I absolutely was going for on this and I think that it turned out pretty decent. It's just all in, in how you spray. So I was angling the brush to almost shoot across the top of the back on these. And that is, I've got three of these. So love these Imperial White Crawls. They're a lot of fun to do and they're extremely effective. Stained water, clear water. And I know a lot of people are probably like, well, wait a minute, um, is that actually gonna work? You know, because crawls, you usually don't see them at the top of the water, but remember jerk baits are reaction baits for the most part. They, uh, they, they mimic that dying fish. And if you're twitching them correctly, just about, uh, it's all key colors. So white, a little bit of contrast, but just makes for a very cool pattern as well as white is an effective color. This is the Whitney Point. Now this is made exclusively for, I designed this particular color pattern and uh, almost like the camouflage type deal on it. Um, designed it specifically for Whitney Point, New York, which is where a lot of these guys are, are fishing these particular baits. So this is, it's got a little bit of uh, a violet, uh, pearlized violet. It's got that sky blue, got a little bit of Maui blue. This is a multiple blue and purple. And then added in the, uh, the pupils. This is all hand painted eyes on these. And again, these baits are phenomenal swimmers. They act very similarly, if not almost identically, to the um, to their the baits that they were molded from, which is that 120 SP. And the only question that I've ever gotten from these is they were having a little bit of issues with suspension on this. You can do a couple of things. You can either weight the hooks. You can use a little heavier gauge treble hook on this, and and gears like go from a two split ring up to a three. So go from smaller to bigger, go to the next size, and that'll give you a little bit of additional weight. Um, if you don't want to change your split rings because of the action that the trebles are going to get, then you can either get a heavier gauge split ring or you can use suspend dots. Suspend dots, you can pick up at Tackle Warehouse, Cabela's, Sportsman's Warehouse, Bass Pro Shops, all over the place. Just do a, do a search online for suspend dots and that will get that to the depth column and they'll hold fast for you. But these are pretty decent as far as suspending. They are suspenders. And then the last three in this order that we're gonna go through, and we're gonna end up right at the, the time that I'm looking at, which I like, is gonna, we're gonna end up right around 10 minutes. I've got about a minute left. Goofing around with a little bit different of a crappie pattern, the black on the crappie. So I've kinda, I, I kinda had been using just a little camo deal on a stencil, it was an r -tool stencil, but I like to change it up. And this is the new crappie pattern. This is gonna be uh, online available, uh, the sten this particular stencil pattern for the crappies in a jerk bait. It's gonna be online on www.jekyllbaits.com. It's gonna be available probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, just, I, I always like to, to swim test these to make sure that they still think it's crappie and they're gonna hit it. I've got bright red eyes again on this. And that is all the news that's fit to print. So that's the new crappie pattern. And then this is the striper. And this is a mixed media, it's a 90 weight paper. So it's a fairly heavy paper. 
and it's just an ink and watercolor of a striper. So you guys have a fantastic week. I will have, uh, I went trout fishing today for a couple of hours on the White River, I'm not the White River, the Norfolk River, um, well below the dam. We were near Norfolk Trout Dock, I want to say, in Arkansas, and um, destroyed it. Just absolutely knocked it out of the park. Could have stayed there and caught them all day. It was just one of those magical days. Um, but we all limited out in like five, ten minutes. It was crazy. And they are all good weight. I don't think that I brought any trout home that were less than a pound, which is phenomenal. Um, so hats off to the fisheries that stock that. I know Crystal River f Fisheries is out there, and you have the U.S. Fish and Wildlife at Norfolk. You have um, several state entities that, um, that also help in that process as well so really 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 uh, and you can you can if you guys have like the blue it's called the blue goose passport and it's for all of the u.s fish and wildlife the department of agriculture it's kind of butts up to the ozark national forest which is also just gorgeous if you guys get the chance to come out this way world-class water systems world-class lakes uh, rivers fishing camping hiking you name it overviews the Ozark Mountains is, um, it's like nothing I've ever seen in my life, and I love it. I fell in love with it, so here I am. I'm rambling. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for spending a little time on the channel. I love each and every one of you. Happy fishing, happy casting, and I will see you guys on the water. We've got some plans in the pipes, so you're going to see the trout fishing video. Um, but again, it was pretty frenzied because nobody expected to catch that fast. And I think we ended up spending more time talking to people than actually fishing because we once you limit out, especially if you're using inline spinners, I don't, none of us really want to continue to fish even when the barbs are smashed down because if you have any incidents where you've caught your limit and then uh, you can't get the hooks out or you injure the fish, it's just not worth it. So no poaching, don't get over your limit, and we will see you guys on the water. Thanks so much and have a great day.